Mmm. Big old tin in the door. That's going to be cool. As you can see, it's very roughly cupped right here now. And also, uh, ended up, I thought I had to yesterday, but I wasn't for sure. But I had to cup this out too, so that your hand can just drop down and get the handle. Which is cool. That just means there's uh, definitely not going to be any room for uh, any selenium tweets here. Because um, they're four, almost five inches by... <laughs> they're five inches by like four and a half inches. They're really big. And then the one selenium tweets are... I believe damn near they're four or five inches deep and the other ones are only 2.3 inches deep or something like that and they handle the same power and they're still super tweet by selenium either one of those I don't think is going to fit here so I'm going to have to uh, I don't know I'm going to have to get creative or something um, I was hoping they could fit here but obviously that's that's only three inches right there. Then of course there's the thought of um, putting them here, but I don't really like that because that's that's uh no, oh. well, it's not together yet. Of course, as you can see, it's it's right on your ass. So it's kind of it's kind of out of the listening area, and. Uh, I don't like that right there on your butt. So your butt's going to cover them up and they're not going to be even used until you open the door. So I'll have to get creative with something. Yeah. <clears throat> now, this part of the video is probably where people are going to not, like, probably not like what I have to say or something like that because that's just what people do. I just had it out with a guy again on YouTube, which I guess is normal. Um, bashing. Uh, JBL uh, for being all crappy and mainstream and, and stuff like that. And I was telling the guy, yeah, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I go to the guy's page, and sure enough, he's using Selenium speakers and stuff, and absolutely loves them. I, I don't know what the deal is, is if uh, people just go to Parts Express and buy them or something and don't go to the website or don't look into selenium or something. The reason I'm getting... Sorry, I'm tightening the wide angle. The reason I'm getting selenium is because they are JBL. They are Harman. Um, if you don't know, selenium and JBL are owned by Harman International. Harman International bought um, JBL uh, back a long time ago when uh, they were doing... had some financial problems. And, uh, yeah. Um, if you go to the actual website for selenium, It'll be right there, Selenium by Harman, and then if you go down just a little bit more, it'll say well, it'll say welcome to JBL Selenium, and so on and so forth. So the same quality that people know and love of Selenium, you know what I'm getting at. You know what I'm getting at here. That's fine. Everyone will change over to sundown here pretty soon anyway. That's just how the world works <laughs> from what I've been seeing, which that's fine. I'm sure those sundowns are pretty good stuff. So, um, But anyways, I'll prove it to you just in case you're denying me. There will be some random talking in the background, so never mind that. And now. Yeah, you could do, like, come down them or whatever's easiest for you to do to check them, make sure there's no coffee spills on them, you know. They're, they're uh, a stone. So yeah, that's uh, what we're going to do. Now, sneak peek here. Why I said two selenium tweeters. There's one guy that said I only needed one. The reason I wanted two selenium tweeters is because I'm going to have uh, two tweeters in each door. Because I'm actually going to have four selenium mid-range drivers. I'm going to have a 10, and then we're going to get the 6-inch and put that somewhere in here. And do that so that my final impedance on the amp will be right and I will have enough drivers to handle the power and stuff with the amplifier I want which yes it will be a JBL don't worry <laughs> but yes that's why I'm using J or selenium uh, because JBL themselves does not make any uh, raw drivers for you to buy anymore uh, they don't make mid ranges and super tweets and stuff that you can just buy um, they do have some subwoofers. They're technically a low 
frequency transducers. Um, but there is a difference between selenium and JBL. If you're going to go JBL, um, you can get that. There are subs that can still be used as mid ranges, they still have a frequency response wide enough. But just the 12 inch is over $500. The uh, 18 inch is uh, like 900 and some, and then the 18 inch uh, higher excursion one is over $1,000. So there still is a difference between JBL and selenium, that's for sure. But they are still one of the same. They come from the same homestead. So stop bashing people. I mean, I see people bashing all kinds of different brands all the time, and I get tired of it. Doesn't matter what brand it is, don't be bashing. But uh, yeah, um, that's what the doors look like. I can't wait to get those speakers in here and get everything right. It's going to take a while, but man, I'm 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 pumped.